Hello, this is Michael Kinsley here from Qtail Wholesale Limited, franchise partners with Marley's Wholesale. And now I'm going to take you through the next stage of your shopping cart admin side. Um, most of this will be all set up, but this is where it starts to get a bit more trickier than just adding your products and your emails. Um, you've also got all the quick ones down here as well, but I just use the top here. So let's click on the first one global cart set settings <clears throat> so basically what you've got is all your information here right in front of you and just remember that once you change something in here if you're unsure about it just take a photograph of the page and basically just come back to it you can actually reset it so you got all your company information here your global uh, size settings your order card settings most of these will be all set up for you and um, there's no need for you to go into these whatsoever the ones you need to really take more attention of are the search engine settings now the search engine sets are like so and basically what you see up in Google comes up in here these are all your meta keywords and you can change these around if you want to um, normally we have them all set for you and you can set between 200 and 1000 characters normally I do on word and it normally adds them up for me and then I just put, put them in and just make sure that each one is separated by a comma and that's basically about it the second one is meta description you have a description of your business and this is what's put into here normally between 6 and 125 characters that'll do fine and the last one here but not least is the Google um, code which you put in now I'll be showing you later on how to do that that's fairly straightforward and fairly easy you just set up an account with Google and that's for free and um, and that's basically about it so coming back on that then um, we'll go back to our global settings so basically everything's there is you don't need to really go into any of these at all and um, the language the only one you need to look at really is the languages and currencies you go into that and basically there you go you don't have to change anything in there whatsoever just click on that little tab there and you'll see the currencies here now you can delete add a currency and basically what we've done is here we've set up the uh, English euro and dollars currency this can be seen inside um, this can be inside when you go into um, international in here and you actually see currencies if you want to add in all the currencies in the world you can do that I've shown you I'll be showing you how to set up the support this support is for free and how to put in these pictures and so forth all on the sides just waiting for the web page to come up and there it is there there's your your currencies you can actually set the whole web page to whatever currency you want and there they are there okay so get that out of the way now <coughs> they only two now you can change the rates by here by update exchange rates you can do this every every so often every week or so you can update the exchange rates and that's it done there and that's it then just save changes and that's you done the language you can have default is English you can change your language if you want to Um, you can add a new language template it's all there it's fairly straightforward so now we move back into the um, move back into we'll come back to that now. So basically, that's all you need to really learn that. You can go into these and enter your company information if you want to. Um, I have them all down in there, to, and that's basically about it. Okay, payments methods. Here we are. We're moving to the next one. And basically, this also goes on. And um, just your password and all that. We have some pay. We set up account there, and that's basically all the ones in there. Actually, set up. Moving on to shipping management. I don't use this myself actually, I just put in the free shipping. Um, you can actually go into these and add in all sorts um, real time shipping from US, you know, FedEx, 
all this kind of stuff. I don't use it myself personally. I just add the shipping cost into the actual product. <coughs> okay, edit the tax. This is most important because we were talking about the VAT here now. And in Ireland, we use 21.5%. In the UK or different places, you'd be using 15% or whatever percentage of your country is. So basically, we just go into cheer, edit. It's fairly straightforward. All the buttons are not the same on the on the software side of it. And that's basically about it. That's how you edit the taxes. And you can just change it there. And zero again. And that's it. Just save the changes. You change that whenever they change over the taxes. Edit discounts and promo codes. And a bit more. I don't really use it myself, but you can use it. Um, basically, I've got it set up to yes, but I've n not got any of these ticked in here. So you can use that as well. I don't use it. And the promo codes, you can enter a promo code, the campaign, and you just save the changes, and the code will come up in here. And that's basically about it. So now we uh, come down to the most, the different here now is the appearance settings. This is the appearance of the whole website itself, the colors, everything. any changes in here at all will affect immediately the website colors. So you can actually change the whole background, the whole everything, all these colors here you can change in one click. Okay, that's the next uh, tutorial. This is Michael Kinsler from QTEL Wholesale Limited, franchise partners with James Marley, Marley's Wholesale. So I'll be seeing you later on then. Okay, thank you.